Front page of the Daily Nation, and Rambo Nyanka, I'll start with you on this. MPs yes. Dea Raila with fresh visit to State House. Yes. This are MPs from your side of the yes. divide. Why is this so different from the national dialogue that's ongoing right now? Why are they being castigated for going to State House and yet there are actually conversations between the opposition and the government as we speak? The question I think we should be asking ourselves is this. When you have elections which have taken place, mm -hmm. and these elections then, uh, whoever that is supposed to win wins, and those who lose, they will lose. And then you find that now um, we are members like I belong to the ODM party, and uh, Professor Ikal also belongs to the ODM party. The critical issue that has been at hand is not whether members of parliament who belong to our side only or any other political party have a right to go and see the president asking for favors for the assumption that the president is the one who will direct uh, because he has the capacity of using the national resources to direct that oh uh, there's a road in uh, kituru church south or in yamira or there's a road in uh, in Bumachoge which needs to be done can we please have government officer go there and make sure that this road is, is implemented the question becomes, do we have laws? And for me, if my party, ODM, is very, very serious, I would like to see this whole exercise go to its logical conclusion. What does the Constitution say in terms of once I've been elected in the ODM party? What is it that I can, I can or I cannot do? The problem that you've got right now is that this issue of members from Luo Nyanza, visiting the president and the amount of noise that we are getting in terms of the members of parliament who have gone there being ridiculed and some of them feeling that they are not, um, they're be being vilified unfairly because according to them, the constitution allows them to have freedom of movement. Freedom of, the issue for me that I see is that the whole of this story has just been politicized yeah. for the agenda and for the purpose to show that these members of parliament who have been my colleagues for many years have, a, have an impact that they can actually go to Luo Nyanza constituencies and counties and have an influence where they can tell the people whether President Ruto can do favors for these counties or not. And the, the question therefore as leadership and as members, for example, of the opposition, is it okay for us, even when we are in the opposition, for me to go and say, I want President William Ruto, who is the president, yes, of the country, but who happens to be from the KK Alliance? Am I free to work with him? And the question then I ask myself, is what, what has been the international best practice? Do you see members of Congress in the US Congress going to see, don't, I mean, going to see Joe Biden and yet they're from the Republican Party? Or do we always see the leadership of the Republican Party engaging the Democratic president because that is the right thing to do? Mm. In other words, should we have allowed um, our party leaders to then go and negotiate with Ruto if there's any negotiation to take place. But we have said we are not interested in having Nusumukate, but there are certain challenges and there are certain issues which weren't tabled. And do, do we allow our leadership to manage and discuss those issues? Or can I, as Richard Onyonka, without even considering that I'm a senator, walk into State House and tell President Ruto, I'll support you, please give me whatever you can give me, and let us assume that everything is fine. Many on our side, including myself, yeah. is that we whittle the significance and the importance of us then having political parties. We then reduce the capacity of us actually becoming the oversight team that is supposed to oversight the president. Because the question becomes, if President William Bruto is our president and is serving the country and is doing certain favors, why must you go as a team of 50 members, for example, to go and persuade him uh, to do certain favors for you or in your certain areas? And yet in reality, our reality is that yes, we need to engage him. Yeah. So for me, I'm, I'm looking at the issue of how do we have clarity which allows, yes, you respect the office, if that is what you can call it, of the president, and you can actually, if need be, like I've been to his two meetings where 
all the Kisi leadership was invited to go, but I've not got, gone to State House because I understood the sensitivity of the matter. I understood the perception that people have. Some people are going to believe that the reason why these members of God, the members from the local community who are going to see the president in State House, yeah. they are actually going to eat Ugali and they're going to be given money. And, and I don't think that is what really many of them are interested in. Yeah. I think many of them saw this as an opportunity either to cross over and see whether, as we say, whether they can get something small yeah. for their people yeah. because we lost to this other side. So my honest observation is that we need to be honest and sincere. The other issue that has come up mm -hmm. is that there has been inconsistency from our part, the, our party, in reacting to how certain individuals who have gone to see the president in State House. Yeah. I mean, I know, for example, my governor from Kisi has gone to see the president more than three times. Mm -hmm. I did not go. Uh, the women rep did not go. I know that many, some members of the National Assembly who are from ODM have actually seen the president. Yeah. And yet, when these member, members from the Kisi community went, mm -hmm. you didn't hear a lot of noise. So it's inconsistent. It's inconsistent. The if there was a consistent policy yeah. by our party, yeah. which says from now on, nobody is supposed to go and see the president. If you want to see him, give us, for example, a memo, or tell us what the discussions are going to be, yeah. then the party leaders can decide whether that is going to be. My fear is that what happens, for example, mm -hmm. And KK Alans has got a majority right now. KK Alans has got the wherewithal. KK Alans is able to come out and say, we can do this road for you. We will make sure we do this and all that. Yeah. What happens if KK Alans is able to actually get an absolute majority? Mm. All right, what then happens to our constitutionalism? So this is your fear? Yeah, this is the fear. Okay. The fear that who are going to be the gatekeepers, okay. even when it is okay for people to have their freedom, their independence to want actually see the president as they may so wish. Mm. But what happens if that meeting and those meetings politically mm. are then meetings which are organized for the president to go beyond the threshold of 451? Okay. Yes. Uh, 